Hey my friends, it's David Chuan and you are watching day number 6 of my 30 days of Code Challenge. Welcome guys, if you are new to here, this is the series where in 30 days I challenge myself and you guys, my subscribers and my email list newsletter subscribers to in 30 days we'll build a new iOS app or a new feature in an app. And by that way, we'll learn how to code, how to build iOS apps in a practical and real world ways. Now, uh, this is day number six, and because I read a lot of your questions, and one of the questions over the last few days is that, uh, can we do animation on table view for each of the cell when we scroll the cell, when we scroll the table view? And the answer is of course, yet. So let's do that today when we scroll the cell we'll have the cell animate in different ways and we'll show you a few of the ways that are really simple to do but one thing keep in mind is that this is just for the interactivity and kind of like the intuitiveness of your app don't overdo that because that can really confuse your users okay so if you're new to here if you haven't followed along the series please click the link in the description to download the starter project we'll already have a starter project for this the complete project and also I will send you on the resources and the videos 30 videos in this code challenge together so click the link below enter your name and email so that I can send you all the resources and you also receive my weekly newsletter the coders digest as well so without any further ado click the link and let's go into the demo all right so yesterday challenge I feel like it has been a stretch for like the time that we spent together <laughs> maybe because uh, we spent a lot of time building the UI and we discussed some a lot more um, like components in the storyboard using things like a um, what is that a dark layout instead of the default white layout that we usually do then we have the dark ui we have different colors we have a uh, slider tech field keyboard right we have the keyboard different types of keyboard and then we have different event change right this is like event slider change value change this keyboard right here the text field itself is the editing change right so there's a lot of things and we have model view controller so uh in today challenge i feel like we should come back into our last uh maybe one or two let me check okay so uh yesterday we talked about tip calculator and play local video was two days ago um i think we should come back to this app and then we'll make the UI more intuitive and more fun and also a chance for us to play around with animation so uh, I want to add some animation into this like when you go into a website you see that when you scroll down usually there will be like the element will animate in right we can do that with table view so if you haven't downloaded the previous um, folder or you have the complete project download it now or you can open your existing one so here in the videos tail view controller below the ui tail view delegate i'm going to use a method in ui tail view delegate is that whenever we scroll like this each of the cell it will inform the delegate which is our videos tail view controller by a method called table view will display for row and index path so we do uh, table view will display for row at the index path like this right so this method will get called whenever the table view is going to be displayed now the way that you can this is a great chance for us to animate because this is before a few fraction of seconds before the um, this show like before the tail view sh shows the cell so what we can do is I'm going to show you maybe we'll do two kinds of animation okay animation number one option number one we're going to use like a fancy one here is using a rotation transform uh, animation so first thing we will need to create a rotation transform transform equals to ca 
transform 3D translates. And then the T here, we use the CI transform 3D identity. And then the TX, we use native 500, which means that where is the off, right? The, the initial location of this cell. So we want to be like way, way negative 500 in the X coordinate. So to the left, the TY, uh, let's just put that as 10. The Z, let's put that Z, uh, zero. We don't need to use the Z. Then we use the cell dot layer. We add the transform to be the rotation transform. Cool. So we add the initial transform. Now this is layer animation right here. And then we use the UI view dot animate method with the duration. Let's put that 1.0 animation, press enter. And we do cell dot layer dot transform to be CA transform identity so that it will comes back to the initial state. Now, when we run the project, here we go. Let's see how it looks like. There we go, you see, it flies in the cell really, really nicely, right? Flies in the cell. Now, we only have six cells here, so maybe you don't see it clearly. What I am going to do is in the video Swift, like this, I'm going to copy and paste this array so that we have 12 cells. Now, it doesn't matter, like the actual data will duplicates because we don't care about that at least in this episode right in this challenge so you can scroll and scroll and scroll and you'll see the cells appears right really nicely uh, i like the animation um another thing you can do let's do cell dot alpha to be like 0 0.5 and then here the final state is cell dot alpha to be 1.0 let's run it and see how it looks like Here we go, and yeah, it still flies in, but it takes some time to, you know, like add the, change the alpha, right? So that is animation number one. That's pretty straightforward. Number two, it's also really straightforward. It's even simpler than this, because now this way of animation, because our UI here using each of the video cell is kind of like a card right each of these is really prominent so we don't want to add i i i really think that like this is it looks nice it looks cool from the developer's perspective but from the user experience if you scroll way 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 like this it's, it's just i mean it's just confusing and it's just like really if you scroll for maybe two minutes you'll be dizzy right so it looks nice in code in theory but i don't think that it's a really cool kind of like user experience so what we can do really simple is we only animate the alpha of the cell so let's do by default cell dot alpha cell dot alpha to be zero right then we do uh, ui view dot animate with duration let's 0 0.75 animation here we do cell dot alpha to be 1.0 really simple like that and see what it looks like okay see that so it appears like this so nicely done like that right or you can do uh, maybe take the idea from the transform i just came up with it so we can do instead of flying from the left we just actually zero right but the uh, let's see the position of the y let's say negative 10 right and then we also do cell dot layer dot transform to be uh, ci transform identity 3d like this and then we'll see how it looks like here we go all right Actually, I think that we should put it down, maybe like 50 or something, because I want to to kind of like move up instead of, uh, yeah, so it move up like that, all right? So that can also be like an option. So you have a lot of options over there.
okay but still i i think i really think that the only animating the alpha would be probably like not not really distracting the user okay so i know this is a really uh, short episode but i think that it's refreshing to talk a little bit about animation of course we'll talk a lot more about animation in future challenges as well all right my friend thank you so much for watching that demo and know that it is a short one because over the last few days you have been going hardcore in this and maybe at this time uh, I don't know about you, but going with a coach challenge every single day can be really daunting and can be really kind of like uh, take a lot of commitment and a lot of time and work. And the fact that you are still here, you're still watching, and you're still fol following along with the tutorials and the daily challenge, I really honor you for that. Because at this moment, you can do 10 million other things. You can watch Netflix and you watch some to some other things on YouTube, but you are here and you're watching this for your skill development. And I honor you for that because I think that you and I are like brothers and sisters. I always say that to my students at well is because like we love trainings and we love skill development and just like I always imagine that just one more skill or if we can just get better at this our career will advance so fast and I will honor you for that and I thank you for that. So if you haven't signed up for my newsletter so that you can join the 30 days of code challenge please click the link in the description and enter your name and email there so that I can send you the tutorials and the resources for this code challenge, the 30 days of Swift and iOS development. So without any further ado, I see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for today and I see you tomorrow. Click the link, subscribe to this channel and join us in the 30 days challenge. See you tomorrow.